okay. Um, I'm assuming that most of you guys are watching my Monday Mail videos, right? Yeah, are we? Are most of you watching them? I know that some people are asking for the timestamps to link to those particular questions, um, and that will be dealt with more. Um, I'll have that going forward. I just have it now because... Because Jill Will is a lazy cuck. Oh, no, actually, I mean, I could do it anyways, but... Um, so I guess the question is, I, I mean, the lighting in this room is actually surprising really well. This is what my full screen webcam looks like. Okay. So these are full screen webcam memes. This is my webcam. It's a C920. I might be able to tweak the, um, I might be able to tweak the settings a little bit to change things, but I don't know if, um, I don't know if I can or not. Um, okay, and then this is my, oh, fuck. Shut the fuck up, Destiny coming at you with another fucking D to the S to Destiny. And then this is using my, why didn't I shave before this video? Holy fuck. Do I look unshaven here? I just shaved yesterday. When did I record this? Oh, God. Has the same opinions and ideas. Okay, um... I'm using a Panasonic GH4 to capture the footage. Um, oh, look at Senpai's smiling face. I use a, um, I use a GH4. This is like a fucking $1,300 camera with like a $1,000 lens, okay? It's a crazy expensive camera, crazy expensive lens to capture the video footage for my, um, for my, um, um, for these videos. Um, the way that the camera is set up, I could have something like this set up during a stream. Do you think it's worth it? Should I actually... Do you, I could switch my... I guess there's no reason not to, right? I could switch my stream camera to be this camera, but I need to buy an HDMI capture card to do it. Nice cable in the background. Oh, yeah, I need to figure something out with that. I can't know. Are you not going to add blue to your sponsor? Yeah, that's part of, what, that's part of the memes today, RTBA. What type of lens? I don't know, dude. Is this the lens part? I don't know which part is actually the lens. A Lumix G. I don't know what the name of the lens is. I can't tell what the fucking shit is. Or if there's like a model number. I don't actually know how much the lens is worth. Oh, it's not a thousand dollar lens. Uh, it's this guy, I think. 1235F. A H oh, A S P H something fifty eight. Wait, is this the thing? Do you think this whole thing is the lens? Jesus fuck! Oh, it's twelve thirty five. Nano surface coating. Whoa, I don't know. It might be this lens. Somebody said I should get a wide angle. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know anything about cameras. I really don't. How many frames can the camera record? Um, it'll do sixty ten eighty, which is enough for a stream. Right? I'm pretty sure these are 60 FPS, right? I can't even tell anymore. I can't tell what's 60 and, and not now that I have this, um... Whoa, my shit is closed captioned? I haven't necessarily seen that happen firsthand, but I haven't really seen it. The reason why I believe it might be the way it is because I haven't really seen it very many... Po what the fuck am I saying? Hold on. Everybody hates you and then you kind of aren't invited back. Um... I guess I'm kind of making that up a little bit. I haven't necessarily seen that happen firsthand, but I've, I haven't really seen... But the reason why I believe that that might be the way it is is because I haven't really seen... <laughs> I'm having a fucking seizure. Oh, shit. Never mind. I don't need to look at my videos of me talking to myself. Ever. I think this lens is fine. I would recommend to not have eye contact with the camera for more than five seconds at a time. More than that is a sign of autism. What? I'm pretty sh I thought autistic people have trouble making eye contact. Do I actually need to look at the camera or not? I should just, I need to, these are things, these are questions that I have to answer myself because I always get conflicting answers from people on stream. I hate watching video of myself. But the problem is like, if I don't look at the camera, people are like, oh, Dustin, you never, like when I made that gross score video, I was like, dog, you gotta look at the camera. What the fuck? You've gotta look at the camera, are you crazy? And then sometimes when I look at the camera, people are like, why do you stare at the camera? I need to call a fucking speech therapist. I'm gonna get this S shit fixed. I think it's really noticeable still. It's a lot less noticeable than it was, but especially in these videos where it's like a close-up of my face, I think it's still quite a bit noticeable. 
I think that this amount of eye contact is okay. I think that the eye contact is appropriate, but I think that um, I think that there's too much movement. I don't know if I normally move that much on stream or if I'm just moving that much because I'm on camera doing a pre-recorded thing. But I think that I think that there I think that there's too much movement like this, especially because when my mouth moves away from the microphone, um, it gets significantly quieter. But I think the amount of eye contact is probably okay. Maybe a little bit more eye contact. Yeah, I, I don't think I was staring into the camera the whole video. I think that this amount of eye contact is appropriate. But I think that there's, t I still think there's too much movement like this. I'm not sure why I move so much. I think it's an anxiety thing for it speaking into like a, re for a recording. I think usually when I'm chatting, I'm usually my mind is running like multiple things at once. I'm either playing a game and I'm talking. I actually, I, I think that's exactly what it is. Usually if I'm talking, I'm either playing a game or, and I'm talking at the same time, or I'm talking and I'm looking at chat, or I'm talking and I'm looking at links and trying to read chat. So like when I'm just doing a video, it's very hard to like quiet my mind and just sit here and only talk because I feel like I have to be doing something else at the same time. That's probably what's going on. I mean, I can fix this. I just have to just keep practicing it, I guess. Can't you look at people like Linus Text Tips that reviewing a product? The thing, um, being okay, so being completely and totally frank, um, and maybe at the at the risk of sounding very pretentious, I feel like a lot of people talk very, very, very slowly, and it drives me crazy. I could try to do. It would take, it would take a conscious effort for me to slow down the rate at which I talk. Because I feel like w when I'm th when I'm thinking of an idea in my head and I want to and I want to communicate that idea to an audience, I feel like I want to get I want to get that idea out of my mind as quickly as possible so that I can move on to the next one. And that if taking a lot of time to enunciate an idea like this, well, right? It, like that drives me crazy. I feel like I, I feel like I want to keep my mouth moving to keep up with the things that I'm thinking. If I have an idea, I want to get out the idea as quickly as possible, and then I want to move on to the next idea, and I want to keep moving and moving and moving. I know that it sounds. I guess it sounds better. I ah, uh, that's like a that's a personal thing that we would never agree on. I think you're right. I think it does sound better. I think talking slower does sound better, and everybody does it. But when I listen to people talk and they talk slow, this is why I always prefer reading things over listening to things because I have a very hard time listening to people that will speak in this kind of a cadence for their entire video. I feel like if I was reading something that was the equivalent or delivering the same kind of information as what I was listening to, I would be able to read this 15,000 times faster than sitting here listening to a person talk at two miles per hour, right? That's like, that's the thing that I get like, I think the big thing about, I think the big thing with how your video looks is how your head is framed. If you showed more of your upper body, it probably looked like your head was moving about as much. Oh, I know what you're saying. That might be true. Yeah, I, I could maybe pull the camera back a little bit. How much do you script the Monday mail shit? I don't script it at all. I'll, I'll look at the questions beforehand. I need to think about how I want to prepare the content too. I still like, I feel like, I feel like my, I like doing off the cuff everything. I don't like scripting things out because if I'm going to start putting that much work into things, then I have a much higher expectation of quality for them, if that makes sense. Whereas if I'm doing things off the cuff, I, I, I'm a little bit more lenient in terms of how things are prepared. As much as I love to meme about you not streaming, using cameras like that for eight hours of constant max output daily will reduce its lifespan significantly. Is that actually true? Do you need your headset on during these videos? Um, I don't need my headset on, but I feel like it's part of, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should have it on or not. It just kind of feels like a thing, like I should have it on. Take off the headphones in the Monday mail. I mean, I guess I could. I don't like the way the YouTube compression algorithm works. Look at this, look at the gradient. Hmm. I wonder what the quality setting is on. That's at 1080p too. It will get hot and shit. I mean, I can just swap out ice packs on it. <laughs> That's because whoever made your intro didn't bother to dither it. No, the guy that made it, the originals look really, really good. Um, I actually, I wonder, I might have a link to it. Hold on, let me see. Am I gonna be able to click this? If I download. I think it's just the way that the Google compression works is just really shit. Yeah. 
I guess it doesn't really matter if people have the link to this, huh? So, like, this is the, um... Even this looks a little gradient. Hold on. Like, this is the way that this looks on, um... I don't know how much this is going to get fucked because you're watching it on stream, but I think my quality is much higher than YouTube. Like, I guess it kind of looks a little bit blurry and a little bit gradiated or whatever, gradiented. I don't know what the word is there. But the actual... The actual, like, raw footage is pretty good, I think. But obviously that's with no none of YouTube's compression or whatever applied. I can't believe Bernie's going to endorse Hillary. <sighs> the beginning of the end. Oh, he's doing it now? Oh, no. <laughs> Rip. It's undermining our democracy. This election is about who will appoint new justices on the Supreme Court who will defend a woman's right to choose. Who will defend the rights of the LGBT? Into the Philip DeFranco show today. I've been asked countless times to chime in on the Fine Bros trademark React scandal, React World. If you don't know anything about it, go look it up real fast. Um, and also now some people are trying to pull me into it and say that I'm anti-creator and anti-little guy, which I think those watching and those that I've helped know is not true. So. Just the, there's gonna be two versions to this video. One, the short version, and two, the long version. One, the short version. Do I think that the fine bros should add the trademark to the word react? No. Even the other ones where it's like elders react, stuff like that, even that is concerning to me. It doesn't matter if they're someone I worked with, they're my best friend. If One thing that I really don't like that seems to be really popular, maybe I should incorporate it more, I don't like jump cutting. I feel like, um, I think it's just a personal problem. I feel like when I'm watching a video where somebody's jump cutting, it feels like they had to take a video and cut it up a million times because they couldn't get through like a single sentence without fucking it up. That might just be like a pretentious problem that I have on my own though. Um, I like that this guy has talked for a full 40 seconds without having to do it. Maybe he, this guy doesn't normally jump cut. I don't know. They're God, they're Jesus and or the flying spaghetti monster. That is so much power. If anything, I'm shocked that they were issued react and there's a chance to go in for the public. I see what you mean by this guy's um position and I this guy's uh this guy's camera angle allows him to capture a lot more um a lot more emotion whereas with my um his lighting is also a lot better than mine fuck me dude these like the pits under my eyes are not good because of the way these lights are top down i could probably fit lights behind my computer but i don't want that shit shining in my face all fucking day long him and ray william johnson are literally jump cut enforcers oh i mean he doesn't do it in this video or at least he has that if you feel like you're going to be affected by it there are people jump cuts increase the speed of information delivery too i mean i feel like it would be uh, again i could be wrong but i feel like it would be pretty hard to jump cut my sentences because i feel like I'd, i i speak pretty quickly and i don't get hung up on slow sentences and need to jump cut like from idea to idea to idea maybe i'm not sure but you can contact and join the public opposition. It's just too much power, and in business, you have to separate any bit of personal from the business. Doesn't matter if I know you or I don't know you. That is, it's far too much power. That okay, I understand. I understand this. The lighting here would be so much better. I look very, um, wow, I guess. What's up, you beautiful bastards? I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is gonna be uh, an addition to you're framing. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay. Fuck, I might actually have to get into, like, video fucking memes. Body language is important. This guy uses it really well. So, it feels to me like the, um, it feels like the important part of becoming good on the camera is your ability to treat the camera you're talking to like another person. And then that makes everything else feel a million times more natural. I'm getting there. I'm getting closer to it. In the beginning, it was really weird because I felt like I was just kind of speaking into like a CCTV recording device and it was very awkward and nervous. But like the more that you try to think of the camera as like a person, the more natural I think everything, the body language and everything comes across. Do you use your webcam to record your videos? No, I've got a nice camera for recording, but I'm kind of lazy with the lighting. I don't know. <sighs> this kind of editing keeps you from getting bored and uses time very efficiently. Hello, everybody. I am writing a book. Just thought I would put that out. Well, like what? 
Like, why, though? Why do you have to jump cut these things? Am I... I don't know. I mean, I understand that people like it, and I understand I'm in the minority here. I, I just don't understand. Hello, everybody. I am writing a book. Just thought I would put that out there, just to get to the point of this video. So some of you may already know this, but for those of you who do not know it, let me catch you up to speed. So last year, one of my really good friends, Lindsay Cummings, and I decided, hey, let's write a book together. Lindsay's already wrote many books. I am wanting to write books. So it makes sense as to why I am writing one. It's a style. It would be a really fun project, and it has been. So like, every time I see this, I imagine a person like, I've decided this has been a really fun project. And then it's like, okay, um, this book is going to be a great adventure. This book is going to be a great adventure. And I can't wait to meet all of my fans at the signing. And I can't wait to meet all of my fans. Like, that's like that's the impression that I get when I see people that do the drama. I know that's not the case. That must not be the case. I don't know. Never mind. Okay, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Maybe in the future, I'll think about it. Your intro needs to be you sitting in your chair, back to the camera, and then you turn around and say, Hi, this is Destiny, and this is Aslan, as you point to Aslan in your lap. Hey.